Good afternoon, Trojans. On today's show, we'll have more information on courses for the next school year. Also on the program, we'll find out who recently committed to play college sports. This and more coming up on Trojan TV News. Good afternoon, Trojans. I'm Lenny Grego. And I'm Mason Bean. It's Thursday, February 8th, 2024, and here are your top news and announcements. The time for requesting courses for the next school year is coming to an end. All course requests are currently due in the counseling office. If you have your form, please bring it to the counseling office ASAP. All applications for NCAPS, Park Hill Professional Studies, and NCC must be completed this Friday, February 9th. Five Trojan students are going to continue their athletic and academic careers at the collegiate level. Family, friends, and students gathered yesterday in the lower gym to celebrate these athletes as they move on to play sports. Maggie Peterson signed to play soccer for Graceland University. Jordan Smith signed to run track for Southern Illinois University. Davion Hartley signed to play football for Mid-American Nazarene University. Bryce Lasaka signed to play football for the Colorado School of Mines. And Elijah Glover signed to play football for Mid-American Nazarene University. Lasaka feels committing and knowing where he'll play next year is a, is a weight lifted off his shoulders. It's just amazing, man. It's a, it's a weight lifted for sure. It's just a great feeling to be able to commit and just share this book with my parents and just like take a little bit of a burden off of them. It's just, it's just an awesome experience, an awesome feeling. You know, Mason, I've really been enjoying the spring weather. Yeah, me too, but I could still use another snow day. With more on the weather, let's send it over to Mikey Williams. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Mikey with the weather. So let's take a look outside right now. I wanted to show you this dew point map to show you the kind of uh, the dew points and, and um, humidity out there right now. It's associated with a pressure system moving through Iowa, and it's bringing up some moisture. So that's why it's pretty um, kind of moist for this time of year and also pretty breezy outside. And you notice there's a cold front back out to the west here. That's going to swing through the area tonight and cause the temperatures to go down into the 30s. So make sure that you have a jacket ready today. Um, for the colder temperatures tonight. Right now sitting at 46, excuse me, 64 degrees outside and that's just awesome for this time of year. So make sure that you're outside enjoying that weather. If you can't get out right now, make sure you get out later because that's, that's a treat for this time of year. Same story tomorrow. We see 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but make sure you're on lookout for the low so have another jacket ready. Um, same story for Saturday, 48 degrees, so another jacket day. And then Sunday, if you are heading out for a watch party to watch Super Bowl or any other outdoor, potentially outdoor activity or just travel in general, make sure that you have a jacket ready because uh, 43 degrees again around that area and then cloudy as well. So a little bit less heat because of the, the cloud cover as well. But as we move into next week, we start to see a little bit warmer temperatures, but still pretty mild and um, some spots of sun in there too through these clouds. So definitely worth every second of it. Now back to Laney and Mason. Thanks, Mikey. It's South Week with basketball games against rival Park Hill South. Tonight is the girls' basketball game versus the Panthers. And earlier, I had a chance to catch up with Paige Berry to find out more about tonight's matchup. Thanks, guys. I'm standing by with Paige Berry in the lower gym about the game tonight. So, Paige, who are we playing tonight? Where is it and what time? We're playing Park Hill South tonight, JV at 530, Varsity at 7, and it's here in our home gym. And then what are your expectations for the game tonight? Our expectation tonight is just to play as hard as we can and hope to expect to win. And then how's the season gone so far? It's good. We all love each other. We love to play together, and now we're just looking forward to districts. All right, that sounds great. Thank you so much, and back to the desk. Thanks, Mason. Now let's send it over to Ella Allegri with more on the Trojan Sports Update. Thanks, Laney and Mason. The boys wrestling squad crossed the border into Kansas last night to take on Baser Linwood. The Trojans and Bobcats battled back and forth, but the Trojans came out with a 37-35 win. They are now 11-6 and in dual play this season. Coming up on the Trojan varsity sports calendar for today, the girls' basketball team hosts Park Hill South tonight at 7 in one of the darkest games of the week. Wear white tonight and show your sport support for the Trojans. That's all I have for you today, Trojans, for your sports report. I'm Ella Allegri. Let's send it over to Laney and Mason. Thanks, Ella. Don't forget to get your Valentine a flower gram during lunch for only $3. Sophomore exec will continue the sale through next Tuesday, February 13th. Flower grams will be delivered on Valentine's Day, and all proceeds benefit the American Heart Association. And remember to show your pride tomorrow by wearing red and attending the pep rally before school in the auditorium foyer. Don't forget, it's the second Targus game of the week tomorrow night, so wear red and show up to the boys' basketball game against Park Hill South Panthers at 7. 
That's it for today's show. I'm Lainey Grego. And I'm Mason Bean. We leave you today with some sights and sounds from last week's Rockin' at the Hill Core Warming Spirit Week. Have a great day, Trojans. <laughs> Freshmen! Sophomores! Juniors! Seniors!